Hi, this is Doreen from Prairies and Prims. I wanted to do a little video just to show you some of my inventory. Um, I've been quite busy. So some of these are from, obviously, from winter. And then there is one from spring. That was for a class at Ubiquitous in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. And this is what I call my holding shelf. I just kind of put everything up there while I'm waiting for it to sell. And I am, like I said, building up quite an inventory, so I'm thinking about doing a show in the fall. But here is some of it. I know it's blocked, but it's up high. That um, sheet basket right there is a wine bottle carrier. You can fit two wine bottles in it. So... That's some of the inventory there, and tucked back there was one I did for Valentine's Day. And then there's that. I have this one. Those are actually my own that I'm not selling. That is another little Easter basket. That one is a Teresa Kogut pattern. Those are some patterns that I designed that are in my Etsy shop. So everything that I have for sale is in my Etsy shop. And this is a little slider box. They both are. So you can put your punch needle in there. You can put your rug hooking tools. Whatever you would like. This will be for a class. This is a Primitive Betty's pattern. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. It's just a little box that opens, a little wooden box. There we go. That will be for a class um, at Ubiquitous in Lidditz. This is what I'm working on right now, another Teresa Kogut pattern. And that's the board, the horn book that I'll put it on. So, to go to the other inventory, I've been very busy the last week making horn books. Um, as I'm looking at this, the colors are looking much brighter on my phone than they are in person. So they're much more dull and primitive in real life. That was just a little um, round scrap that I got and I decided to try to make it into a pumpkin. So I'm going to do a pattern up for that. That one is not actually for sale yet. Um, so my wood comes from an Amish wood shop. I live in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and they sell boxes of scrap wood for kindling, and I get it and make these horn books. So I have made quite a few, and I wanted to show you. I have one navy blue one left, this one, and then these are, I'll just flip through, I'm all different sizes. And those are the blue. This color looks like it's white, but it's actually a very pale blue. Very pale. So there's those. I guess I should have had a camera upright, but I've already started so I can't change it. These are two different colors of orange. Again, they are not bright like what you're seeing on the screen. They are very muted, primitive colors. These are what I'm calling the, oh gosh, I don't know what I put them on the website, as medium orange, maybe, and then this was the darker. Again, the color is so much not bright like it's showing up here. Maybe if I back off now, it's still, it's a lot darker than what they look. So this is really showing up like a bright yellow, and this is like a mustard antique gold. Um, got some cute ones here. And I just got finished adding all the new ones on the Etsy shop, so they're all on there. When they say choice, make sure you look through because there's all different so this is one little grouping, little tiny ones. Those are eight dollars each. These are 
the black. And that's a large black one. So some more of my work is here on this cabinet. The little hanging pillow is not for sale, but the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Santa with the sheep is for sale. They're both Teresa Kogut patterns. And then we'll go back. I have some tan. Those are the tan ones. This is a fun green, <coughs> excuse me. It's a fun spring color green. Um, above the back here. These are for sale. That is um, Old Tattered Flag Pattern, Teresa Kogut Pattern, Threads That Bind Pattern. That one is my own design. I don't remember the name of that designer. That one is the old cat is Primitive Betty's. The snowman is Teresa's Primitive Treasures. The hen is Primitive Betty's. And the rabbit is Old Tattered Flag. Those are all for sale in my Etsy shop. That's privysandprims.etsy.com. There is a link below on my um, homepage. Actually, it's on there. So these are like sage green, which is like one of my favorite colors. These came out really nice and primitive. And there, that one's like a breadboard size. It's pretty big. These are not meant to put food on, by the way. You know, they may be advertised as breadboards. I would not put food on them. These are a dark brown. This is a new color I just made yesterday. Um, first ones I made with the dark brown. It's, it's almost like a chocolate. So these are one of a kind that are left. This is a white over black, so it's kind of a gray, and that's a textured paint. This one is not as bright as it's showing, but it's kind of bright. Like a lime screen with a primitive black over top of it. These are really cute ones. Um, like I said, I go get my wood from an Amish wood shop and they're scraps so I work with the shapes of what they are sometimes and this is what I made out of these so it's red mustard yellow sage green and black those are on Etsy also and then the red goes from small to large so the ones That's my new favorite shape right there. The ones in the back here are pretty big. So those are $15 each. And the measurements. On the pictures on Etsy, they all have a roller next to them showing you the measurements. So these little paddle boards is what I used for these. So there's blue, there's a brighter red, and then there's dark red. I think I'm shadowing it and making it darker. Um, two of the chocolate brown, there's some sage green, and there's some black. And then the last boards here, I don't have these on Etsy yet. These are made for the Teresa Kogut pattern that is called Neighborhood. It's a very large pattern, so you need a large board. These are made from wood that was glued together by the Amish so I don't know what the glue is that they use but it is not all of one board but as you can see it is hard to tell when I was sanding this one it came this particular one has a line right there where I don't know if it's two or three boards glued together like this way long ways. Yeah, I think there's a line there and then a line there. So that is the only one that it really showed up on. Um, the other two it did not. They came out really good. So I am selling those for $12 each. Again, they are made for the Teresa Kogut neighborhood pattern, specifically for that pattern. 
because they are not one solid piece I am selling them for twelve dollars um, you can see the lines more on the back and again this is a professional furniture and toy and craft shop in um, owned by the Amish so I'm sure they know what they're doing when they glue them together I just needed to make those boards for someone um, that ordered one and so I decided to make a couple extra I did not have any solid boards that were big enough so if you want one of those get in touch with me um, I will probably go ahead and put them on Etsy but specifically again they are for the Teresa Kogut neighborhood pattern um, one other thing that's in my Etsy shop is this basket and I just got these luscious new threads I love them Valdani's uh, this is a Teresa's Primitive Treasures design that pattern and then one that may be my all time favorite that is not for sale and I doubt that it will be is this and that is from the old tattered flag pattern as you can see and it's pretty big um, I got that basket at Goodwill for $2.99 so I didn't know what I was going to do with it at the time and it turned out perfect as you can see it's it's not deep at all it's um let me see if it fo yeah, focus it's a not a deep basket but it's perfect for this that's probably my favorite and then my little spring bunny that I made I think that's a bird in the hand primitives pattern I'm not sure because um, I've had it for many years anyway so that's it for today um, I hope you enjoyed my little show trying out this YouTube thing and again, everything is in my Etsy shop that is for sale. And that is privysandprims.etsy.com. And the link is on my YouTube page. I also have a Facebook page for um, where I put all my new listings. And that is Privies and Prims also on Facebook. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay home.